man, people are fed up with Jerry Wayne Jones and his antics, man. And when we look back at this, the fire the GM campaign, it makes a real tangible one. But you got multitudes of people reaching out with this campaign to get it started. Let me know how you guys feel about it. And the three letter, the four letter network pointing out a few things, too. And let's listen to these. But Jerry Jones, the owner. Mm -hmm. has let down mm -hmm. Jerry Jones, the general manager. Oh, wow. Jerry Jones, the general manager, has done a very good job. They've mm -hmm. drafted well. They've mm -hmm. developed well. You All know right. what they haven't done? They haven't filled in the holes that need to be filled in, and that's what the owner does. The owner authorizes mm -hmm. that spending. The owner... And this this is the first year mm -hmm. in my mind that Jerry Jones has let the team down. Oh, wow. Jerry Jones, you knew you had a wide receiver three problem. Mm -hmm. You didn't solve it. Jerry right. Jones, you knew you had a running back problem. Okay. You didn't solve it. Jerry Jones, you knew you had a defensive tackle problem. You didn't, didn't solve, solve it. it. Jerry okay. Jones, you knew you had a linebacker problem as it pertained to size at the linebacker position size. that could come downhill and smack folks. You didn't solve it. Okay. Jerry Jones, you, you knew you might potentially have a defensive back problem because even if Bland does not get hurt, Trayvon Diggs is still coming off an ACL injury in a position that has to run the most on a football field. Cornerbacks do not go out the game and back in the game like wide receivers. Mm -hmm. And you didn't solve it. Pause it right here. I've been saying this all off season. I said, hey, I don't mind having Carsons out there. I don't mind saying that, hey, Diggs will be good, but let's go out there and grab a veteran DB. Now, the season is not over with, by the way. Just letting you guys know there's plenty of time left, plenty of time, plenty of games left down the stretch. But I'm just going to tell you what's up around the corner and these are the things as far as reservation now it's been only three weeks but there's a situation that the cowboys must balance and leverage out and that is jerry jones got to step down got to get somebody involved in this that's just the bottom line yeah. So for the first time, I would suggest in a long time under Jerry Jones' tenure, the Dallas Cowboys had several issues this offseason, and Jerry Jones, you didn't bother to solve them. You lose Tyron Smith, who's been your tackle since 2010. You replace him with the first-round tackle, but you better pray to the good Lord up high <laughs> that a first-round tackle is going to be able to sustain the pass rushes that the NFL has to offer. He's right about that. You know, the problem is with this whole entire situation is that, yeah, you know, it takes growing pains. Even Tyron Smith, who was a right tackle when he first got here, they had to kick him to the left side of the second season. He didn't have a phenomenal rookie year, right? So you have to know this, that you're going to go through some growing pains. And that's the only thing that the Cowboys, when they really look into all of this, they got to the correct. They do. So uh, reason for signing, you know, I'm truly – I'm truly exhausted by Jerry Jones and his uh, inflated sense of self-importance. This, this is one of the things that a lot of people are signing this, this, this petition around. And, and no other sports franchise have to deal with the overinflated ego and the meddling. Uh, what, what we get with Jerry Jones. And, of course, he's long in the tooth. He's well off in his 80s and things like that. And our team is the laughing stock of the NFL and other GMs give their franchise the tools. And I get it, right? Dak Prescott been the whooping board for a lot of this stuff, right? They've been saying that, hey, the reason why the Cowboys not successful due to Dak Prescott and his ways and these sorts of things. And I get all of that. We've been cast out of saying that, hey, these guys are Dakaronis and Dak lovers and <laughs> and as well as Dak apologists. But even when you just take that and move it to the side, Dak got nothing to do with the running back situation, nothing to do with the interior defensive tackle groove. On top of that, especially with the DBs on the outside, we can go back and forward and say, well, hey, this guy's a coach killer, but we have nothing to do as far as the Dak Prescott situation with the defense, right? And the old angle of Dan Quinn being a sabotage, man, because here's the thing. When he was here, I'm quite sure that he really wanted to be the head coach here. And uh, when he saw that that wasn't a possibility, of course, he looked for a better situation. Now, granted, in any business that you do, in any situation that you do, there's a thing called a non-compete. You can't go into your 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 situation whereas you're gonna go play or coach for your rivals or for your within the confines of your division. And Jerry Jones allowed that, right? There should be some type of clause in the contract. 
And that's a whole nother conversation. Not saying that we are in fear of the Washington team, by the way. But what I'm saying is collectively that these people have a right to be really, really angry and upset about this situation. If you hired a GM in 30 years and they haven't won a title, don't you think he would fire him? Yeah, 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 yeah. And those are some of the things that these guys are voicing their frustration over. And all of this stuff is because of Jerry Jones, right? Now, who would be the GM? And sometimes old dogs just don't learn new tricks. On top of that, Jerry Jones himself, he's going to look at this and say, man, when I first bought the team, I only won one game and I was crucified, right? And then things started to change. Of course, the reason why, Jerry, is because you had Jimmy Johnson. I will say this. Let's do this. Hire, because I got solutions right here, man. Let's finish how we started. Let me say this again. Let's finish how we started. I get it. You won only one game, right? When you first bought the team. How about this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Turn the corner, pick up the phone, and call Jimmy Johnson. Let's go down fighting on how you started. That would be the only solution. Let Jimmy Johnson be the GM because Jimmy Johnson, when he was here, he had control of the coaching and GM. It's just that when he wasn't getting credit, I'm talking about he, meaning Jerry, that's when everything kind of went south. Let Jimmy Johnson be the general manager while you step back, Jerry, and you can still be the owner. You can still bring in all of the great influence powers that you have and let's get this going now granted it takes two to tangle because jimmy johnson would would have to want to be a general manager if not you got will mcclay but you got to give will mcclay autonomy he don't have any control of anything right he's just a whooping board an errand boy right so hey and i'm not trying to use that as a negative connotation because we all like what will mcclay been doing but it's not enough because he don't have the power and uh, for sure strength to fire and hire guys that he want, right? It all got to go to a board or a committee. And that, my friend, is archaic because sometimes general managers got to figure out ways on their own. And if they don't mess, if they mess up, then they got to have their feet to the fire. That's what makes and creates the possibility to be great. There's no growth and comfort. Jerry Jones, you know this, right? You're a billionaire, not by mistake, and you had to get uncomfortable. But this situation, I know you're uncomfortable, and you're sitting back saying he's going to fix this, and no other GM is better for the spot in the position that you are in, but no other GM is comfortable in the spot in the position you're in. Cowboy Nation, post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. Hey, this is the way we roll in Cowboy Nation. Stand tall or not at all. Salute to my guy being able to put out the message. Fire the GM, Jerry. Come on with it. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the bass. Go Cowboys.